Hey, this is Freddy TK421. I want to show you my little garden right here real quick. Today's tax day, and I need to finish. So I came outside to uh, procrastinate a bit. Trying to think of some more deductions I can take so I don't have to pay so much. Ugh, I'm poor. I don't want to pay taxes. But look. Boom blowing up. Scrappy, what are you doing up there? That's right. He's never gone up there before. Dang, look at that. Boom. All these here on the left are watermelon over there is cantaloupe. I got some cantaloupes growing on the ground too. Boom, 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 boom. They're doing pretty good on the ground but up here they're really doing good I've got several of these little watermelons baby watermelons kicking in there's lots of them in there throughout the place look over here watermelon watermelon you can't really see them because if it's a uh... but look they're pretty big got some cantaloupe there's baby cantaloupes growing in there. I don't remember where they are, but I've seen them. I've seen them. Look, there's one. There's a lot of them. I've got like miscellaneous cantaloupes throughout there, but look, let me show you these watermelon that are on the ground. They're growing big. Boom, that's one. That's one right there. That's one. This is one. Starts from here, goes out there and all in there. This one goes all the way out there. Here's another one, it starts here. Ooh. And again, there's another one there and there's one there. Those are all watermelon. These are zucchini here. As you can see, we got some zucchini already kicking in they're in there bah, 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 bah. these are squash plants I got a few of those there's lots of squash growing on them already and there's some aborted squash here these are like ones that didn't get fertilized and here's one that got fertilized fertilized here's some heirloom tomatoes that I have to build cages for pretty soon because they're getting big purple Cherokee tomato Mr. Stripey heirloom tomato it's got flowers they both have a couple flowers already a black prince can't wait to try one of those I've never had a black tomato before and look, this one is a yellow cherry tomato right here. And I bought those at the same time as those high, as those uh, heirloom tomatoes. But this is a hybrid tomato, and it is huge compared to those. Like, it grew a lot faster than those heirlooms. So, this is a cantaloupe zucchini cantaloupe and these are eggplants over there they're kind of small still they're getting there though those are eggplant 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 there's another cantaloupe here's my favorite plant in the garden it's a yellow cherry tomato like that big one right it's from that big one I got a little uh, runner when it was like that big I got three runners for when I planted it and I put them all in cups and this is the one that's doing the best it's like it's gonna survive it's way when I started it was like this big it was tiny and now boom it's gonna get big this is an, this is one that I did at the same time but a couple bugs got to it but look it's got this little bud still kicking in so it might still work from what I hear about the yellow cherry tomatoes the birds don't really eat them as much as the red ones but I'm getting I'm, I'm training my birds out here to not eat tomatoes another uh, cantaloupe here's a 
these wa these two watermelons right here, when I was thinning that hill, like pulling out ones that, you know, were in the way of each other, I put them in here and they kind of like got, went into shock, but now they're coming back to life and they're growing fast. This one right here was in bad shape, but I pulled off all the dead leaves and all the curled leaves and it's coming back and it's getting big. This one right here, these are all like the reject to make, um, reject watermelon plants that I put over here to see if they live and boom. This one is, I didn't think this one would actually live. It was in a pot. But this one's coming back. Hardly any, none of my plants die really. There's another one. That's a uh, zucchini again. Here's some more cantaloupes that I just planted from seeds like a week or a couple weeks ago. And hopefully they'll come in after these are done. These are all cantaloupes in all these pots here. Because I'm going to put them in the ground later maybe. I don't know. Here's a cherry tomato that I planted in this thing. If you want to see the video on how to uh, take a sucker off of one plant and grow another one. It's on a Tube Tempest account. I did that plant there and it was a lot smaller when I started. There's a, some kind of red Mexican type peppers that are hot. Bell peppers down here. They're still little. There's five of them. Some Roma tomatoes. This plant right here fell down in the wind and I think it's dying or something but it's Roma it's a Roma tomato and I, I don't really care about it that one just grew from seeds from the grocery store little watermelon plant on the ground a reject that's growing another one growing slow this one's growing really slow here's another Roma here is a black cherry tomato plant and it, I got this at the same time as that yellow cherry tomato but it's a lot smaller and I think the reason is because it's got like so many suckers all over it. But anyway, it's got a few flowers. We'll see how it works out. I think the birds might attack those tomatoes pretty fast. Celebrity tomato plant. It was started off as a sucker from this plant and it grew on its own. This one has some tomatoes growing on it. But the recent blooms don't seem to be doing so well. I think the, this tomato plant, I, this one, has something. They got some kind of disease or something because these tomatoes, they had a few with the black end rot stuff and the new buds aren't really doing too well. But I'm gonna have to, I might pull that one up. That's a uh, Bonnie Original. It's got tomatoes on it, you know, but... I don't know, it doesn't look like it's doing well. These are doing awesome, man. These cherry tomatoes. Look, every single flower makes a fruit. There's clusters galore all in there. You can't really tell now, but there's going to be tons of tomatoes here. There's This one's doing a little bit better than that one. I got that one and this one at the same time in the same packet. I split them. At this, I split them when I got home because there was two growing in there and they both lived. But look, my first ripening tomatoes. And look at all the clusters in here, just boom, boom, boom. That one, that cluster that that ripened one was on is like 15 of, or I don't remember how many, but they all, there's lots of them all over this plant. This one's going to produce a lot. I might get rid of that Bonnie original and take a branch off of here and start it, or off the yellow one. This is a Roma tomato plant that I got from a seed at the store. It, it got big real fast and then it blew over in the wind, so I chopped. I thought I thought I chopped up all the suckers to let it just produce that one cluster, but this came out of the ground. Another one, so I'm gonna let it live. Here's another Roma. Lots of little ones. See the thing about these Romas, these all came out of the grocery store and it was a hybrid so all the seeds are different. So you don't know what traits your plants are going to get. 
so they all look different like the leaves are different the fruit different sizes so it's kind of like a crap shoot this one is one too but it got eaten when it was young and it's like took a while to get over it but it's coming back to life but anyway that's my garden and I'm very proud of it I love it I like to just look at it great